What's good all my fly tying friends? Today we are going to talk about leeches and why? Because it's always on a fish's menu. So let's get into it today. I know, standard hook, non-jake style. This is the A-Rex NS115 size 2. Great. Now as far as bead, this is a big one. We're, we're getting into those winter uh, fishing months. The fish are going to be on the bottom. You're going to be looking for a nice, easy meal to get at. So this is a plummeting tungsten bead. This is 7 30 seconds of an inch. And of course, metallic blue. So as we get into this, you will see that this is going to be heavily concentrated on dark colors, namely black and blue. And if you recall from last year, I was fortunate enough to catch a, a pretty sizable coho on a leech that Josh had tied up and it was uh, black and blue. The water was really ripping, you know, high water, off color, all those good things. And that, uh, you know, tells us, hey, you need something that's heavy, gets down quickly and still is visible in that nasty off color water. Well, dark colors work very well in that scenario. Josh had a, a black and blue leech, throw it on first cast and boom, fish of a lifetime. So let's emulate that. But thinking more in terms of specifically lake fishing, right? Still water uh, is still a viable option for a lot of you. And, and so you, you get out there and you're throwing the typical nymphs, maybe some small streamers, great. But if you want to get those big lunkers, get to the bottom, Move that fly slowly, you know, figure it, retrieve, whatever it takes. And this is how you, you catch those big fish. So for a tail, this is not going to be the typical bunny leech. Of course, with the rabbit tail, we're going to, of course, switch that to spawn polywog tail in black. So let's just get that tied on. And nothing to it. Let's keep this up, uh, very simple, very easy to tie fly. And I want you guys to have something that you have confidence in and can crank out a bunch for that last minute trip. All right, so we're going to incorporate the flash with the rabbit body that we wrap. And what that does is allows us this little freedom back here. So if, if you want to decorate this tail a little more, which I do, well, let's add some more movement since we don't have to use flash right there. So I've got some uh, Chacon crusher legs and we use these in the in one of the recent videos. This is blue barred clear and so I'm just gonna go in and get my side tied in very quickly here and then I'll come over to your side and we'll have extra movement already and all we've done is tie a tail. Can't beat that. Let's bring those legs over on your side. How am I doing? Pretty good. There we go. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just trim all these rubber legs. And I just want them to match up sort of with the tail. So trim them like so. Nothing to it. All right. Coming back, let's really make sure those legs are tied down well. And now that they are, let's talk about rabbit. So of course, we are going to be using crosscut rabbit. And this is a strip of black crosscut rabbit. And so when you're tying this in, you know, you, you want to tie so that the leather or the hide is facing up. And when you're trying to figure out how does, how does this rabbit tie in, this is my left hand. When I place the strip in my left hand, the leather's facing up and those fibers need to be going toward my thumb. If that's the case, then that's your tie-in, just like that. Boom. Clean this little front section so that it's trimmed out and you have just the leather there. But before you do, get your fingers wet. Hold the top of that rabbit and then just run that rabbit through your fingers. Do you see what happens? You'll pull out all those loose fibers that you don't need. So there you go. A little cleanliness before we tie in. So this would be the result after cleaning out the loose fibers and trimming that tip so that we can tie in with the leather facing away from the shank. And of course, with the rabbit flowing in the right direction. All right, don't don't get into all this tied in and then you, you realize, oh man, I tied my rabbit in backwards. And that's, that's no good. You're just going to have to undo it. All right, I told you we would incorporate flash with the rabbit. And this is what I'm talking about. This is some polar chenille in fluorescent blue. 
And I will tell you this tends to work a little better with a chenille like polar chenille because the fibers are only coming off one side of the core. It's not a 360 kind of brush type deal. It's, it's just coming off one side. That's what we want because now I'll treat it just like the rabbit. Nothing to it. All right. And I told you I'm keeping this simple, folks. So I hope you enjoy because I really don't tie a lot of super simple flies, but every once in a while, boy, oh boy, you need to a couple bugs in a hurry this is this is one of my go-to's and again based on the success I had with coho fishing last year when Josh tied up the black and blue version I'm a fan all right so now we're doing just touching wraps of that rabbit and keeping the polar chenille together with the leather as we wrap and then if you can see where that turns just brush those fibers back and now that flash comes out with our bunny all right so this will be the last wrap right here just kind of sneak it so that i can get as much coverage as possible and then go ahead and tie that rabbit in or down if you will tie it off all right like so beauty and just sneak that in front and now I'll, i can trim out my rabbit and flash like so any of these loose fibers of flash, I'm just going to eliminate those right like so. And there's pretty simple leech, but you see we've still got just a touch of room here in the front. And by all means, you could come in and create a little loop, fill that with some more rabbit if you want, fill in that tiny gap. You could dub a little bit of dubbing onto your thread and do it that way. But because we are gluttons for movement, I am such a fan of, of legs. We're just gonna go in and toss another set of uh, legs in here, or another pair of legs, I should say. And then we'll have the legs coming off that tail, all the flow and flash in the body. And now we're gonna have two more legs on each side. And so for this, I'm looking to come halfway back on our previous set of legs. All right, nothing too crazy. Get those tied in, I'll bring them over to your side, catch and tie down. And there's that. And so I'll just match these legs up so that they're even on both sides. And we'll give that a cut. And we're ready for a whip finish. And there again, if you want to clean that up a little bit, a little dubbing is all it would take. But I like it just like this. I, I want to keep it simple repeatable and know that this is a confidence fly for me and again this is this is something i'm going to fish in the lakes and we don't fish the lakes very often but especially this time of year right big rain hits the river can't quite get in there it's off color it's running too high whatever the case well there are quite a few lakes around here and they, they keep them stocked with very big rainbow trout and they also happen to have a lot of largemouth bass in them so don't be surprised when you're fishing this in the lake that has bass, like fish it low and slow and man oh man, like everything eats a leech. It's not just trout. So don't be surprised when you catch a bunch of fish on this fly. There's one piece of flash bugging me right there. All right. And so we are just coating all those thread wraps with some noon hardhead clear. And this sucker is all but done. And there we go, folks. Nothing to it. Black and blue bunny leech, sort of, with spawn polywog tail, flash incorporated in the body while we wrap. So there you have it. Very simple, but so effective. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and we will see you all on the water.